topic. Data governance was the topic we wanted to pick up and I know this is group of data scientists, data engineers and talking about data governance here is probably a dry subject here. <laughs> so first of all, I'm not going to put any slides. I don't want to uh, bore you with the presentation. Uh, by the way, by introduction, my name is Kaushik Bhatt. I work for Wells Fargo. Uh, I am responsible for data management and governance. And the reason I say governance because uh, it's an area as a bank we have started to focus on. And uh, those of you who don't know Wells Fargo, it's world's uh, sorry U.S. fourth largest bank in terms of uh, revenue. And in, in world, if we are among top ten banks as the revenue uh, assets are concerned. So let me just quickly talk through you in terms of what is governance, what we do and where it is started and how we see this is going to impact the spectrum in India as well. And that's where I'm going to drive the topic here. Uh, so we've been doing data management for last 20 years. As a bank, we have a data warehouse. You can name a technology, we have it. Right from structured data, unstructured data, data lake environments, we have done everything, by the way. Uh, when it came to 2016, uh, you know, as a bank, we were asked, can you give us some numbers from regulators, by the way? This is where it started. And I cannot talk in details, but essentially, when it came to our analyst community, to get a one single, single truth was difficult. And we went to a data scientist, even today, if you go to data scientist community and ask a question, can you get me a good data? A uh, lot of time we see the data scientists are spending time in finding good data. Uh, we saw that the struggle of success of data platform is to do with right data and data in a way where we can be consumed faster. So our effort was really to make sure that our data assets that we have are 100% consumed effectively. So, in, so this is where uh, the program got started. I'm part of CDO office, Chip Data office. Our job is to really look into data life cycle right from data origination to data processing and consumption. So right from knowing your data, I, let me give you an example. Um, all of you and in the entire day I heard people talking about uh, all types of data being ingested, you know, uh, right from your location data, telcos we're talking about, monetizing for social engineering and all sorts of data is, is getting into the system. Uh, first thing, uh, first is, do you know what you're getting into it? Now, as a as a company, uh, especially product companies like yours, you have a clear use cases which you are bringing in. But a lot of time data scientists will bring data for monetization which multiple use cases and they don't really know whether they need it or not. So in our case or most banks, we would end up creating data lakes, lakes into data swamps. So we had a lot of data which we didn't even knew why we have it here. Uh, if you look at that's the first problem. Uh, our effort 2016 onwards, we've been, we've been going back to our data. We have deployed, uh, I would say, data scan mechanism. So we know whenever we get data, we know what data it is. It is sensitive, if it is PII or if it is uh, confidential, we know it right there. Uh, our endeavor is to really make sure that every policy of the bank or any financial institute is being recorded in the part of scan itself. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, if you know your data, uh, a lot of times you would want to make sure that your phone number and PAN card in Indian context, uh, phone number and PAN card shouldn't be compromised. Uh, let's say if you're a fintech, you are dealing with other based encryption, other based validation, your PAN card details, date of birth, location. By the way, this is this is super sensitive data. And if it is if it is being gone into wrong hands, uh, potentially you're going to lose the customer trust. And, and we all know what happened to Facebook and what's, what's happening in terms of uh, different companies. So as a bank, what we decided is we want to make sure that we are responsible, not only for our data scientist community, but we wanted to go out and tell our customers we are responsible in terms of how we handle our data. Uh, three things, we, were, we deployed our data lake, data lake architecture with profiling systems. We also deployed scalable data classifications. So if I get a data which talks to me as 16, num 16 year number, I know it's a credit card number. If I get a data which is starting with uh, 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 four digit number, which is MX, I know it's MX card. Uh, if I know date of birth, I would know that this is date of birth and address with, or a person where it's inside. So right from ingestion, we deployed our data classification and tagging. 
Uh, we also made sure that some, uh, if, you know, if you know Amazon, the way it does cataloging, and in fact, uh, I'm sure in your data platform you have deployed it, we made sure that every data asset is properly cataloged. So we deployed our AI ML algorithm there, we are deployed on products, and we make sure that every data asset that we are getting in our system, it's getting cataloged properly. And uh, we make sure that every data asset being transformed from ingestion to consumption, we have MDM system lineage. So that's the other thing that we have invested on. Uh, last but not least, data protection. So whenever you find a date, whenever we find a pen, I mean, uh, SSN number in our, our US uh, perspective or address number, we make sure data is masked. And there are a couple of things that, can, that we do. We do tokenization, we do encryption, we also do, uh, in some cases, we do masking. Uh, again, these are different techniques for protection. Uh, each technique has its own merits and costs associated with it. Uh, we ensure that if at all you have access to data, the role demands it. We make sure that business is owning these policies. We make sure that there's a steward who's assigned to the policy and, make sure, and whoever gets access to it for the purpose, and the purpose is defined, and it's, it's part of our policy. Uh, again, this whole life cycle is looking like a barrier to data scientist community, if you ask me, whether it is going to slow us down. But you know, our experience has not to really slow it down. Our experience has to really make it better. Because if you address the quality of data, if you address the data itself is properly cataloged, your search mechanism for data scientists become easier. We, 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 we saw benefit of doing this because we were able to get our data assets much easier. We were able to find where to get the right data for our analytical projects. Also, we were able to make sure that we are responsible in the way we handle it. So uh, that's what we have done. I really cannot go specifics of products, but uh, I know we have some, if you have questions, we can take the questions or uh, we can talk through the specifics.